Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we're at the flea market. So this is the Marine Flea Market here in Marine, Illinois, and it's not really a flea market in my mind at least, but it's basically a business that goes out and they clean out houses and then they take the things that they pull from the houses and resell them. So let's take a look inside and see what we can find to buy and resell. Okay, just walked in and we are going to one of my favorite sections, which is the dollar section. And it's right here when you first walk in. So sometimes I can find some pretty cool things over here. Whoops, I didn't know those were taped like that. Um, so these were a crafted item and they're marked on the bottom here, Rosie, Rosie Mathena, salt and pepper. Those are cool, so she painted those, I guess. And then we got some other dishes here. These are Corel. This is like a dollar for the four piece set. So yeah, the prices over here are really cool. And then there's also figurines over here. Oh, look at this one. Uh, that one is marked, let me see. It is marked, oh boy. Top Line Imports Japan. That is very funny. I think I have to buy that for a buck. Just a dollar? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of fun and cute. Uh, why does it say 10 out of 143? That has me wondering. So they only made 143 of these? That's pretty cool. So there's some other figurines here. But yeah, usually I don't see anything that I gotta have. So luckily, I found at least one thing. There's a little baby sleeping. What else do we have? Phone call, five cents. It's kind of cute. 24 karat gold. It's kind of fun, huh? The art of the choking. Hmm. That's a cute little, oh, so it's a dollar for the pair. I think I'll buy those too. Cool. Yeah, a dollar for the set it says. I'll take that up front so that I can keep shopping. I'm out of arms already. This is kind of interesting, but I'm not sure if I should buy it for $2. That looks like somebody's old wig. But I really like the brown, and the, it's, I mean, it's kind of pretty. I feel like I could sell that for at least 20 bucks. Huh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it. The pickings are slim, so I gotta make it work today. Very nice. That little stool is actually cute. That would be cute for the booth. The antique booth. They have $5 on it. The straw's a little screwed up. Hmm. I feel like I could sell for $12, but I just don't, I just don't know.
Look at that old stove. Really cool. How much do they want on that? $225. That is really cool. Look at that. It says Bucks, Bucks Stoves, Ranges, and Furnaces. In a drawer broiler. Oh my. That's some rusty business in there. Wow. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. The color on that. Oh. For five dollars i don't know if that's indiana glass or what i'm not an expert in these like ashley rose is but there's no chips or cracks for five dollars i think i'm gonna buy that that's beautiful look at the color and the way that iridescence is on there very nice then they've got some other glassware over here a lot of this doesn't really change week to week but you know gotta gotta look every single time Gotta look. You never know. Lots of clear stuff over here. Libby glasses down there and the leaf pattern. Butter dishes. Oh, those are pretty. Mm hmm. Art is one of those things that I've been wanting to get into lately, but I can never find. You know, I can never seem to find something that just, that sends me over. Maybe it's one of those things, one day I'll just stumble upon something I really, really like. I mean, all this is kind of like, not really real oil painting or anything, it's all prints for the most part. Claude Monet, look at him. But, um, yeah, I really would like to get into artwork, but I just don't know where to start. And it seems like everything's very expensive and it's over my head. They've got clear glasses here. Some pretty cute ones too with strawberries. Oh, I love the occasional random glass. Um, I do collect those and put them in my windowsill. That's a really pretty one. Should I buy it? Sure I should. Three for a dollar. So now I gotta find uh, two more. What's down here? There's some brown mugs here that have owls on them, aren't they? Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, there's a chip on it though. These are like crafted. Is there at least a pair that has a, have a nice day, it says. That's so funny. It says, have a nice day. And it has a chip on it too. What's this one? And it also has a chip, so they all have chips. Darn it. That would have been so cute. That's so unfortunate. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah. Oh, that has a chip on it. Are you kidding? And that other one does too down there, by the way. In case you're wondering. That is so sad. Every single have a nice day mug. I'm really trying. I don't get on my knees very often. But I'm down here. Okay, well, that was a failure. Well, I don't know what they're gonna do for just one glass. Do I just put it back? I think I have to at this point. I know, I'm just gonna have to put it back. Bye. Oh, well, these are fun. These are star glow, the star glow pattern. We've got some really pretty colored glass over here. A lot of it never sells and it's always here. But you know, they try. It's pretty, it's a pretty one. With the flowers on it. That is Bavaria, hand-painted Bavaria. This looks like Marcrest. And then they've got uh, amber, amber glass and pink glass and this blue. Oh, that's heavy. Oh my gosh, that's heavy for $4. Boy, that almost feels like lead glass, how heavy it is. Look at this uranium. Isn't that cute? A little basket thing for $5. They've got tin cans. Now, sometimes I can find an interesting one over here. Sometimes. Well, today's not one of those days. I don't see any that I've got to have. Darn it. They've got a book section. 
that I never really look at, admittedly. They've got a hat and toy section. Lots and lots more books over here by the really loud radio that I'm trying to talk over. Great song, though. I stepped back by the dollar section real quick and I found these really cute ivy salt and pepper shakers. And they are marked Japan on the bottom, so I think I'm just gonna grab them for a buck. And uh, yeah, not really sure what they're gonna sell for. Maybe $20, hopefully, but um, I'm actually not even sure who made them. But the ivy, let me get back in the light. Back to the light. But the ivy pat, the paint, is, well, it's not paint, it's transfer wear. It's just really well done. Very pretty. So I like those. We're gonna check out now. All right, so with that, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I have a box full of stuff right here. And for now, thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.